but then by actually making Jesus sin. Jesus did not commit the sin. He does not have any of his own sin. That's what makes him a qualified redeemer. But in being actually made sin, actually spiritually dead, actually in hell paying our price, it means now when you're born with him in his resurrection that you're actually made righteous. You have actual resurrection life. That's why you're free from sin. That's why you no longer have to sin after you're born again is because you have been made free from sin. That sin generator is not in you because Jesus actually became sin. You actually become righteous. So when we talk about the resurrection power that quickened Jesus from death to life, because he was born again by his own blood. And the reason he could be born again from sin is because he did not die under his own sin. He was made to be sin for us. So he was born again by his own blood. That's um, in Hebrews 13. And, and then we, of course, were in that resurrection life. This is Romans 6. I'm not going to turn there. But we were born with him with that same resurrection life. So think of Jesus not only going from being made sin back to righteousness, but then he is brought back to life into the body. Remember this, uh, this beaten body and scarred in his hands, uh, spear in his side. So he still has those scars. Uh, you know, he tells Thomas, you know, look at my hands, uh, look at my, my side. So he still has that, those marks. Now, whether he still has all the, the marks on his back from the scourging, um, I don't know. Uh, he probably does, but um, I don't know if scripture says he still has those marks. But the point I want to make is he was born again back into this uh, body and th that body was healed. The same quickening that came into his spirit came into his body and, and glorified it. So now Jesus has a glorified body, a, a body that we'll get one day. But the point I want to make is that um, resurrection power that quickened him from death to life, it also glorified his body. It will one day glorify our body. But it means now while we have the same resurrection life in our spirit, that means that life will quicken our body. Number one, it quicken it concerning sin. You no longer have to sin. That's Romans 8. But also think of the healing that's available to us. For he bore our sicknesses and carried our pain. So that resurrection life brings with it healing. You can have healing in your body. You, he'll quicken your, your natural body until the day uh, you go to heaven or the day Jesus comes back and you'll get a glorified body. But all that resurrection power is in you. The same uh, life that quickened Jesus from death to life, the same power quickened us from death to life. 